So now, of course, I need to dissolve the silver using nitric acid. I got about 100 milliliters here. I'll probably need quite a bit more than that. So you can see I've got this uh, jar here. I've got a tube coming off the top. It's going down into some hydrogen peroxide. It'll make more acid over here. Okay, so, so I turn my little pump on, get some air into the chamber. Now let's add the acid. Now I am gonna add it in a little bit at a time like that, just so I don't use more than I have to. Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's lab. And actually uh, this, I guess, is my lab. <laughs> I don't really show this a whole lot. But anyway, I want to upgrade and get a fume hood. And uh, this box in the middle of the room is going to be the fume hood. I don't know what it was originally for, it's just you know, thick plywood. But I think this will work. It's got some little caster wheels. Might make a fun uh, toy box or something, but I think I'm actually going to take all that stuff off of there, sand it, paint it, and then put a door, you know, something that will slide up and down on the front. I'll probably go buy some uh, acrylic sheeting for that. Alright, so here we are. I've uh, pulled it outside. You can see the bees are over there. And I need to paint this thing, and in order to do that, I first need to take off all these little things. So, let's get working on it. So the box is cleaned up, I've laid out a tarp, and I've got some paint. Let's brush them on. Well, the box has been painted. It has dried overnight. So now I think it's uh, time to put it in its place. So there's the box in the location that I'm planning on it being. Now, there is still some work i got to do. Like I've got to put the door on and cut the hole in the back for the vent. You see how I've got that lined up with the window here. I can just slide the window open, put the vent on, and away we go. <laughs> uh, I've actually got this little squirrel cage fan. Thinking about using this. I'm still not sure how I'm going to hook it up. Okay, so I actually decided to move the box over more underneath the window, as you can see. Uh, this is what I'm going to be using for the door. And just a piece of plexiglass. It's pretty flimsy, but I will reinforce it with some wood, and that is the thickest they had in this size. So, yeah, you can see the vacuum chamber is now over here. And uh, I'm going to cut a hole right in the back there, put in the fan. I'll uh, plumb in some electricity somehow. Also, I now have a torch. Not related to this project, but something I've been wanting for a while. Okay, you can see I've got it bolted in, the hole's cut and everything's plumbed. Let's see what happens when I plug it in. Yeah, I don't even know if this blower works still. Sure does. Nice. <laughs> Down here. Oh yeah. I might not even need a door on it. That pulls a lot of air. Well, here we are. You can see it sometime later. And I now have the door. See this? I can lift this up. And I've got some uh, little nails there that I can pull in and out to set it at different heights. See? Just like that. Awesome. So I guess all that's left now is to plumb in some lights. It's finally done. <laughs> Excellent. Here, let me turn it on. I need to make that a little more accessible. There we go. Might be wondering why I built one instead of buying it. That's because I wanted to be able to put things that were that tall inside of there. And, uh, they didn't make anything that tall. Uh, I'll probably end up putting on 
some sort of air scrubbing system outside if I'm uh, working with anything really toxic. I don't see needing that in the near future. Uh, another thing I might do is uh, put tile down on the inside along with a plastic tub or something. But for now, to celebrate getting this thing completed, let's mix some nitric acid with some uh, copper. Let's see what the fumes do. Okay, here we go. Through some nitrogen dioxide gas. Let's see where it goes. Lovely. <laughs> Going right outside. Okay, yeah, I can work here. I won't be breathing any of it. Oh, this is great. Let's see what happens if I lower the shield down all the way. Oh, oh yeah. Makes the wind a little bit stronger because it restricted the entrance here. Yeah, it looks like it's holding up. It's not bowing it in or anything. At least not enough to be a problem. Up here, near the top, you can see it's self closing. So it makes a seal. Air is going in, nothing can get out. It's good. Well, I'm happy with it. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.